Hey, what's up, y'all? It's popping in. Today, my T-Rex is pinned by Sunny B2. This is failed weight loss YouTuber becomes morbidly obese. Amberlynn Reed has made her way to the Sunny V2 channel. That's how you know you have hit rock, rock bottom, girl. I'm very familiar with Amberlynn. I found her like maybe a year and some change ago, and she is a hot mess. Okay, <laughs> I reacted to her a couple times on this channel, but she started her YouTube channel as um a weight loss channel like a decade ago, and since then she gained about 300 pounds. So in total, she like 500 pounds or whatever, and she keeps telling her audience she's trying to lose weight. <laughs> she keeps telling them she's trying to lose weight, but it don't ever happen. She don't ever lose weight, like ever. So her audience, they be on her head. She gets a lot of hate about it because they like, girl, you just doing this for money at this point. You ain't, you ain't trying to lose no weight. But she keep claiming she is, but it ain't happening. <sighs> We're we going to see what, what he has to say about her. It's, it's just a lot. It's a lot with this woman, but, but let's watch. Amblin Reed created her channel to document what was supposed to be an epic weight loss journey. Yeah. My name's Amberlynn, and I wanted to start a YouTube channel for weight loss. Instead, the audience saw nothing but drama and catastrophe as Amblin almost doubled her body weight with her brutal transformation beginning when she'd weigh in during her very first video. I did my weigh-in. I was 368.0. Amblin's courageous ability to share this vulnerable information led to an instant fan base of approximately 200 subscribers along with positive comment after positive comment on every single video. But while everybody was rooting for Amberlynn, only seven days after uploading her first video, there were already signs that her weight loss journey was going to end in disaster as she'd post her first weekly weigh-in explaining that she hadn't lost any weight. My weigh-in was 368.0 last week. My weigh-in today like was 368.0. So I stayed the exact same. The other thing that became obvious in this video was that Amblin had no desire to sacrifice for her goal. When it comes to Thanksgiving, no, I will not be counting calories, if any of you are wondering. No, I will not even be thinking about my health that day. I'm just not or any day, think girl. about my weight. And she had a defeatist attitude toward her weight loss journey. I don't have willpower like I used to. I remember the days where I was down three pounds a day, but I'm never going to be that again. It's safe to say that this unconfident mindset was doing her no favors as one week later she'd upload another weigh-in video revealing that she'd actually gained weight this week has been my most indulgent binging week i've ever had i weighed in at 371.0 before she'd talk about her solution to fix this which was not to eat healthier but rather to change the day on which she weighed herself i will be what? on thursdays now and by this thursday i hope to be down three pounds it should be simple well amberlin concluded by stating that losing another three pounds should be simple and she'd once again gain weight in the week that followed i've been having a lot of issues with saying no to certain foods so i did my weigh in i was up 2.8 every time i weigh in i'm like not losing i don't know what to do with the trend continuing into the week after that but i stepped on the scale and saw 377 my first reaction was what that can't be right i stepped on it a few other times which i normally do and it all said the same thing i definitely know how to gain some weight it was obvious that Amblin's weight loss journey you wasn't going to plan, and while almost every comment remained positive, her failure to lose weight resulted in her very first hater, who she'd foolishly dedicate an entire video to. This person is beating me up so bad with their words, saying that since I started this channel, I'm actually up weight. However, Amblin had a plan I mean, to prove this hater wrong, as one week later, she'd upload a video providing an outline for the weight she wanted to get down to by the end of the year. My resolution is is to reach 299 pounds. I think I was 11 when I weighed 290 pounds and ever since then, I have never seen that number two. 11? The beginning of my weight. After posting this video, Amblin began to make progress instantly. This probably gonna help our channel a lot though, this video. My weigh-in today was 376.4, so that's down 0.6. And would announce five months later that she'd lost an impressive 28 pounds. It feels really freaking good to be so on track i'm in the 340s no more 350s although throughout the rest of the year ambulance discipline began to slip i spent the last three weeks eating whatever i wanted yes i have gained 13.8 pounds in the last couple of months and by the end of the year rather than being down
down to her goal of 299. She was instead back to 377 pounds. That was my weigh in, 377.0. The exact same weight that she was at the beginning of the year. Yet in retrospect, this loss of zero pounds seems quite favorable as only four months later, she'd make an announcement that ultimately caused her weight gain to spiral out of control. Amblin uploaded a video titled Going Through a Breakup, explaining that her four year relationship had slowly fallen apart, which was followed by a different video only two days later, explaining that the scale couldn't even weigh her anymore as she'd become heavier than 420 Ooh. pounds. The fact that the scale wasn't reading me because I reached 420 again or around there, it absolutely hurts. Amblin's emotional state was healed to some extent when she began to date a new girl called Destiny. Oh. However, this only seemed to make things <laughs> worse as she began to go months without weighing herself. The last time I weighed myself was over two months ago. And after only six months of being in this new relationship, Amblin explained that her weight had hit a new high. I weighed in and I'm 455.0 pounds. I know every single time I come on here, I weigh more and more and more. The audience also began to observe that Amblin had adopted a significantly more obnoxious, unlikable attitude, which when combined with her weight gain, led to a surge in people hating on her content. People are judging every move I make. Even in the good things that I do, people find negative and it's, it's frustrating to me. At around the same point in time, with the assistance of various mukbang videos, Amblin experienced a significant increase in her subscriber count, although obviously this only gave her more incentive to eat, helping her to reach 482 pounds only six months after hitting 450. Things became even worse for Amblin when she'd announced that her new relationship had also come to an end, stimulating yet another increase. January 1st, I weighed 489.2. That is the highest weight I have ever weighed. Absolutely disgusting. 10.8 pounds away from 5. 100 pounds i can't even like say that out loud that that is like possible for me to be that big it is scary and as a result of this gain amberlin decided to put her foot down and make a change once and for all mm. only this change wouldn't come in the form of a new diet or even a new exercise routine but it would rather appear in the form <laughs> of a video <laughs> that that she that no face. longer that be stepping great. on the scale or tracking her weight loss journey whatsoever i am done with my weight loss journey sharing my journey does not help me at all. It seemed as though Amblin couldn't bear to see herself hit 500 pounds with this willful ignorance being spotted by the audience immediately. Yeah, the former that, title yeah. as a weight loss YouTuber had transformed into the new title of a weight gain YouTuber and with a steadily increasing audience, Amblin's inability to lose weight began to receive exposure outside of YouTube. She's a woman who started her channel at 350 pounds to motivate herself and others to lose weight. She has since gained over 200 pounds through excessive binging and delusions about what is healthy. She starts a new diet every few weeks and breaks them within hours. There are rumors that she can't fit into her own bathroom at this point and is mostly immobile. She's a train wreck. My fear of becoming like her has been a great motivation to continue this lifestyle and it's not like this was the only person who was using Amblin as fuel for their own weight loss journey. Um, I, I do this. I, I said this in another video too, which it, it might be terrible, but I'll be eating healthy watching watching her videos. It, it motivates me. Yeah. I watch Amberlynn Reid's videos on YouTube to motivate me to cut my portions down and work out more. Good lord, that poor girl. Not even 30 and she can barely walk due to morbid obesity. But while these people were able to find inspiration to continue on their weight loss journeys, Amberlynn Reid was doing the opposite. Mm -hmm. She'd begin her fourth year on YouTube weighing in at 497 pounds, which accompanied yet another optimistic resolution. My goal is not to go out to eat a single time in january i'm gonna be pretty much doing like a very clean eating and i'm just pumped about it however the audience already knew exactly what was going to happen amber is never gonna no, lose weight cap. she's been doing this for years now she'll be eating at texas roadhouse in two weeks and with the assistance of her jumbo coke and chocolate movie theater diet these comments turned out to be correct so that means in one week oh, i've gained fine. 12 Pounds. In a However, week? It would be what Amblin did next that took her journey to a whole new level of degeneracy. She'd begin to use her weight as clickbait for new videos, proudly displaying her unhealthy diet in exchange for extra views, leading to the confirmation that Amblin was now over 500 pounds. I just keep gaining. I've never weighed this much ever. I don't even want to say it out loud. It's, it's weird. Um, it seems too real when I say it out loud. 
My weight today was 500.6. But well, she got like 5.75. I know, girl, you're not retaining water. You know exactly what you did. Way to make excuses. Retaining water did not make you 500 pounds. Eating 6,000 plus calories a day did. Well, we all saw this happening. Don't have to be that so raven to know you were gonna hit 500 pounds. <laughs> the cycle continued with a brand new goal. My goal was to be 465 pounds by June 29th. Followed by a brand new failure. Yesterday, yeah, I waited for you guys. At and in 2023, she still, she still five hundred pounds. Surprisingly, gotten even worse five years by the later. following year. And as Amblin creeped past a hundred thousand subscribers, she began to receive criticism from some of YouTube's she biggest fitness influences. For meal one, she okay. has a recharge bar from Teddy Craig. It should be called a fat bar. In fact, there's more grams of fat in a recharge bar than a Kit Kat bar. Yet her response was simply that these fitness experts didn't understand who she was. Every video made about me is just horrible and rude and people just don't understand where I'm coming from and I feel like I'm very misunderstood. And it would be through this ignorant attitude that Amberlynn reached a whopping 572 pounds. However, in case things weren't already bad enough, only five cancer? months later, Amberlynn uploaded a new video announcing that she'd been diagnosed with cancer. So I got my result, my results back and I do have cancer. I have womb cancer. Which was extra frightening given her health. So the reason why I'm really scared is because of my weight, which is also my fault. So. Amberlynn had hit absolute rock bottom. And while during the early days of her channel, she stated that she'd never get weight loss surgery, desperate times began to call for desperate measures. So I have been putting off calling a weight loss doctor for months now, but I don't know what came over me. I just did it. I um, called a weight loss place that I know about. Amberlynn stated that one of the worst parts about getting the surgery was that her views on YouTube would likely decline. Do I think I'm gonna lose That's viewers by getting Getting weight loss surgery and honestly by me losing weight I will lose re viewership and that she'd need to lose a bunch of weight prior to the surgery at the size that I am they won't be able to do weight loss surgery prompting Amblin to lose a whopping 89 pounds in only a couple of months I weighed in today I reached a new lowest at 483.0 so that means I'm officially down 89.4 pounds and I'm ecstatic although for whatever reason Amblin never got the surgery and instead as you might expect put the weight back on that would be until just a few months ago when Amblin announced that she had finally picked out a weight loss surgeon how I'm feeling now is but now she I already know what surgeon I want to see. Yet it was going to be incredibly expensive. It comes up to $23,000. And as a result, she's currently saving for the procedure while waiting for her doctor's approval. Amberlynn currently weighs in at 508 pounds. Oh, he didn't even say. Well, I'll give y'all the update because I'm very well aware of what's going on with her, which is kind of sad to be honest. <laughs> I'm very much uh, in the Amberverse, as they call it. Um... She was told, apparently, that she can't get the weight loss surgery right now because she needs to go a year straight without binge eating before they can perform the surgery on her, which I think is cap. That don't even sound right to me. They expect you to be perfect for an entire year before they can do the surgery on you? Like, that don't make a lot of sense. I'm just like, uh, okay, but, but sure, that's what she's claiming. So she's saying she can't get the weight loss surgery right now. And it's like, girl, girl, <laughs> I'll never forget when I first started watching her, she was like in the process of losing weight. Yeah, she always is. And she was like actually kind of successful at it. Like she had lost a few pounds or whatever. And I left a comment and I was like, oh, good job. Like keep up the good work or whatever. I'm trying to encourage her and help people respond. And they was like, oh, you must be new here. You don't know how this works. She ain't, she ain't gonna keep this up. She about to stop. I'm like, what? So I'm thinking to myself, like, these niggas is weird. Like, they just hating, like, you know, let this girl change and let her, you know, be successful. Like, she she looked like she's trying to lose the weight this time. And lo and behold, a few days later, she put the video, like, I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? So, it's just a constant cycle of her claiming she wants to lose weight, getting on the diet, and then falling off and gaining some more weight. It's a hot mess. And it's so fascinating because she's so large. Like, she's 500 pounds. And when you see shots of her body, it's just like... Oh my god because she's so big you know and it's just crazy that someone would be this large and not want to take their health seriously especially after getting cancer it's like yikes like you would think that would be like a wake-up call but it's not so it's just crazy 
um, to, you know, see what's going on with her life. Her channel is extremely, extremely boring, though. So I watch, like, compilations of her. There are so many. If you just look up Amber Lynn Reed compilations, they have compilations of her lying. They have compilations of her. Uh, I just watched one earlier today, actually, while I was eating healthy. It was, like, uh, her making excuses for why she can't lose weight. And, like, it was stupid shit. She's like, oh, I didn't lose weight because I, I woke up late. <laughs> It is like random shit. She says the most bizarre shit ever. Um, so that's what I do. I'll watch like compilations of her or I'll watch like reaction channels react to her. I need to like watch her through other people and like hear their commentary and shit because just watching her is like really boring. Her channel is super boring. But it's still fascinating because yeah, she's so obese. Anyway, there's that. Uh if you're interested in, in her uh obese life, uh th this is what's going on with her. But yeah, hopefully she gets it together because Someone this large, it doesn't seem like they would have a long life, you know, if they don't make a change. So, it is really sad. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!